What's up guys, it's John here with NRSNG. Today I'm just gonna show you the basic parts of a normal EKG graph and let you know what's going on inside the heart to help make this a little bit easier. So when you look at an EKG graph, you're gonna know exactly what's going on and what each piece of that graph corresponds to in the functioning heart. So if we look down here, what you're gonna see is you what you have is you have this straight line that kind of goes across. From there you have a little bump spike down, spike up, another bump, and sometimes you're gonna see this last little tiny bump at the end of it. So let me tell you what each of these is called and what they represent. First of all, this first little bump is called a P wave. The distance between here and here is called the PR interval, or you might see it as PRI. Then you have this spike right here. This is called your QR, S complex. Then you have this little section right here that's called the PR segment. After that you have this first little bump that's called your T wave. Then you have sometimes this last little one here that's called a U wave. All right. Then a couple other little segments that you have when this bumps up all the way until this last little bump here what you have is this S T segment. So that's really what you're going to see in the basic EKG graph. Now let's talk about, so it's good to understand that, like it's good to know that, okay, that's P, that's QRS, that's T, but let's talk about what's happening in the heart and what each of those different pieces mean. So if we come back down here, what's happening with the P is the P wave represents the electrical depolarization that occurs prior to atrial contraction. So if we have our heart here, this P wave is what you're gonna see right before the atria contract. So you're gonna see that little P wave right as those atria are preparing to contract, all right? This flat interval until the next spike represents the time where the impulse is held up in the AV node before passing to the ventricles. This is called the PRI, the PR interval. Okay, then we move on and we have this QRS Okay, you have your QRS complex. And what the QRS complex represents is ventricular depolarization. So this is when our ventricles, so here's our little heart. This QRS complex is this ventricular depolarization and as those ventricles are really squeezing and mechanically are starting to squeeze electrically, that's depolarization. Mechanically, that's where it's starting to really uh, squeeze and get all that blood out. So then you have your T wave. And what your T wave really represents is your ventricular repolarization. Now, sometimes on some graphs, you're gonna also see this U wave. All right, and that's gonna come right after this T wave. And this U wave represents, you know, further depolarization uh, in the ventricle or repolarization of the Purkinje uh, system of the Purkinje fibers. Now, the U wave can become more prominent in your patient who has bradycardia or slow heart rates. It can also happen with hypokalemia or low K. Okay, so that's really what we're gonna see here on this graph. We have our P, we have our PR interval, we have our QRS, and then you have your T, and sometimes you're gonna have your U. Each of those electrical waves represents something that's actually happening in the heart, and we should see certain mechanical actions as that happens. Now we really look at this EKG graph. Remember, this is electrical. We also have mechanical things going on in our heart. So it's important to remember, as we see these electrical abnormalities, we're checking our patient to see if we're having those mechanical abnormalities as well. So P, Q, R, S, T. Those are the ones to keep in mind. And it's important knowing what's happening in each of those. So you can know as you see this electrical change, what might be happening mechanically in our patient and what we need to address. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today. Now go out and be your best selves today. Happy nursing. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a buddy, and let me know in the comments what's the craziest EKG rhythm you've ever seen uh, and what you did. What was your reaction and how did you handle it? Lastly, make sure you head over to NRSNG, click the link below in the, in the uh, description to get the free PDF cheat sheet that goes along with this video.